Come with me, come and see all the wonders there will be in my stories, in my songs, in everything where fun belongs. We'll meet heroes, giants bold, is it lands both hot and cold, have magic tricks to shiver your skin, that's galore with animals in our world of fun. Hi, Piper, hi! Have you ever stopped to think that toys may have a life of their own? You don't think they do, eh? Well, they have in Storyland. Our tale today is about a little tin soldier who had more adventures in one day than most people have in their whole lives. He was a small plain soldier and had been given as a Christmas present to a little boy who wasn't too pleased. Why, it doesn't move. There isn't even a place to wind it up. Give it to me, then. I've got a ballerina doll that can't do anything either. She just stands there. This silly soldier can guard my doll. All right. I'm going to play with my wind-up soldiers. So the little tin soldier joined the other toys on the playroom table. And even though he couldn't talk, he did a great deal of thinking. How pretty she is. Even though I'm only a common tin soldier, I'll guard her with my life. He has such a kind face. I wish I could reach him. And that night, when all the household was asleep, it was the toys' turn to play. The dolls had a tea party, the mechanical soldiers marched up and down, the music box played and the top spun all by themselves. Only the little tin soldier remained steadfastly at attention, and the little doll went on holding out her arms and neither of them moved a muscle. I will love her as long as I live. How I wish he would stand a little closer. But unknown to them, they had an enemy. I don't like the way they look at each other. The doll is mine. I must get rid of this intruder. The next morning, the boy moved the tin soldier onto the windowsill, and the wicked jack-in-the-box saw his chance. I know how to work my own spring. I'll give him a surprise. Oh, the little soldier has fallen out. What do I care? He can't move, so he's no good to me anyway. I suppose I should try to call out, but one shouldn't shout when one is in uniform. I wonder if anyone will ever find me. And before long, someone did find him. Hey, look what I've got. He's pretty funny looking. Let's make a boat and put him in it. Here, this old paper will do. Swiftly, the two boys fashioned a crude sailing boat, and with the little soldier standing beside the mast, they set it down in the gutter. On your way, little man. Look at him go. Look at him go. My word, I've always wanted to go on a voyage, but I didn't think it would be like this. If only she were here with me, I wouldn't care how rough it was. Suddenly, the boat was swept into a covered drain. Dear me, how dark it is. And the water is getting faster and faster. I must remain at attention whatever happens. Then the boat shot out of the drain and into a great canal. And it's starting to rain. This is too much. My boat's beginning to break up. My poor ballerina. Shall I ever see you again? Goodbye, world. Goodbye. But there were more surprises in store for the little soldier. As he began to sink, a most amazing thing happened. It's dark in here, and how this fish does twist and turn. Someone must have him on the line. How right he was. And now the most astonishing events began. It's awfully quiet all of a sudden. Now what's going on, I wonder? My word, that was close. Why, look at this. Did you ever see such a thing? It looks like my soldier, all right. He's no good without his paint, though. He was no use anyway. What good is a soldier that can't even march? I'll stick him up here beside that silly dog. Now at last, the little tin soldier was standing close enough to his lady love to touch her, if he could move his arms. So there they stood. He at attention, and she with her arms held out to him. So near and yet so far. How gallant and brave he looks. Only I could tell him how much I care for him. How sweet she is. And I thought I'd never see her again. But I dare not reach out to her. I'm still on duty, even if my colors have run. 
But the wicked Jack in the Box was not through with them yet. Sensing their loving thoughts, he became enraged. Gah! Look at them. It's more than I can stand. This time, I'll finish both of them. With a terrific spring, he swept them both off the table. What did you do that for? I didn't touch it. You did. Didn't, did. Didn't, did. Didn't. Together, the sweethearts lay motionless on the floor. <laughs> now look what you've done. I didn't touch it. Well, it's no use now. And she's no use either. Look at the mess she's in. I'll throw them in the toy chest. At least they'll be out of the way. And they were indeed out of the way. And together at last. So you see, you shouldn't ignore toys because they are plain or broken, for they may have a life of their own. And our little doll and her steadfast tin soldier, why, they lived happily ever after. forgotten toys. Well, none of the toys want to go there, as you can surely imagine. So, Santa thought that if I came here and told you how the fairy Snow Queen first gave toys life, that then you would appreciate them more and take better care of them. <laughs> toys first learned to talk a long time ago in toy It happened on Christmas Eve. Santa and his brownies had just finished making all the toys for Christmas. And Santa was getting ready to take them to all the good little boys and girls. Every Christmas Eve, Santa has a cup of tea with an old friend. Because a cup of tea gives Santa just the right send off for his long, fast journey. Now, on this certain Christmas Eve that I am telling you about, Santa had asked the fairy Snow Queen. Oh, 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 oh. oh dear fairy Snow Queen. Said Santa. Won't you come have a sugar cookie and a cup of hot tea with me? A cup of hot tea? Cried the fairy Snow Queen in horror. Mercy, no. I would not have waited. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I see. But I will come and have a sugar cookie with you. It's much nicer than tea. 
And that's exactly what she did. But Santa had been working so hard with his brownie to get all the toys ready for Christmas that he forgot all about the sugar cookie. And before the fairy snow queen came, Santa fell asleep with all his toys at his feet. Now, old Santa had only been asleep for one minute when the door opened and there was the fairy snow queen dancing in the snow. She was the most beautiful fairy of all. But I'll tell you a little secret. She loves to play jokes.
I can march. Look at us, look at us, look at us. Hello, Sanders. You would think when I came for my sugar cookies, I thought I would play a joke on you and have all the toy flies. Aren't they wonderful? <laughs> oh, they certainly are. Yes, someone's coming. Why, it's a musical doll. Oh, sing for us. toys back so I can put them in my sack. Oh, not yet, Santa. Let me show you how I can march. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Watch me! Watch me! Quickly, Fairy Snow Queen. Change him back or he will break himself, sure. Oh, don't worry, Santa. Look out! Look out! Look out! Jack, you stay in your box. Can't stop! Can't stop! Can't stop! <laughs> Thank you. 
change them back, very Snow Queen, before something terrible happens to them. They may get hurt or fall in love. All right, Santa. Oh, but they're having such fun. Well, you must promise me first that you won't fall asleep the next time they ask you to come and have a sugar cookie with you. Yes, I promise you I will not fall asleep again. But please, change the toys back to toys before they break themselves. All right, Santa. Now, toys, be as Santa made you. Toys! I said be as you were. No. no. Well, what's the matter, Fairy Snow Queen? Why do not the toys change? Look, they're still the same. Is this another one of your jokes? A joke, a joke, a joke. No, I'm not joking now, Santa. I don't know what the matter is. Everything seems connected. But you must change them back. <laughs> oh, oh, what is it? Why, why are you crying? I've lost my magic power. You oh. mean you can't change them back? But why, Fairy Snow Queen? Why? Well, Santa, the Queen of the Fairies told me that if I didn't stop playing jokes, she would take away all of my magic power for 400 Christmases. I've played a joke on you, Santa, and now I've lost my magic. Oh, dear. Oh, that's too bad, Fairy Snow Queen. But what shall I do? I have no toys to give the children for Christmas. I know. Oh dear, oh dear. We don't want to be just toys. We don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to be just toys. Just, just toys. Just toys. Just toys. That's it. That's why my magic wouldn't work. You see, Santa, as a very snow queen, my powers are limited. I can only change things that want to be changed. The toys want to be made alive. But they do not want to be turned back to toys again. Oh, you should have thought of that before you changed them. I know I should have said that. I'm very sorry. And I will never play jokes with anyone again. But what shall I do? It's time that I started. Maybe, Santa, just let the reindeer are ready. <laughs> well, maybe if I talk to them, huh? Now, toys, you've all had a chance to see how it is to be alive. You've had your fun. Please let me change you back. Oh, please. I want to sing all the time. I want to march all the time. We want to say a lot. I want to eat candy and cookies. Sugar cookie, sugar cookie, sugar cookie. But I promised the little children I would bring them toys. That's what you were made for, to bring happiness to little boys and girls. You weren't made for living. Would you have all the little children in the world crying on Christmas? Would you? No. Then let the very snow queen change you back. It's not easy being alive. Why, you're so tiny. How will you get along with no little boy or girl to look after you? What will become of you? A toy soldier. You can only march now, but if you belong to some little boy, he would put you with a lot of other soldiers. He would? Really? Why, he might even send you to war. A real war? Honest? Sure, a little boy's war. And you dolls. Why, you could go to tea parties and be well taken care of. But alone in the big world, you will all soon get lost and broken. Your arms and legs will fall off. And it will be very sad. I'll tell my bounties to unhitch the Christmas sled. There will not be any toys. Tomorrow, Christmas morning, which is usually the happiest day of the year, will now be known as the saddest. No toys. My, my. Santa, may I make a suggestion? Oh, of course. Well, how would it be to let all the toys come to life for one hour every night at 12 o'clock? Then, appoint one of your brownies to go around and ask the toys if the little girl or boy they belong to has been nice to them. It would be a wonderful way to check up on the little boys or girls. Besides, it might be fun. 
Oh, boy, that's a fine idea, Billy Snow Queen. Would you agree to that, boys? A conference, a conference, a conference! Agreed, agreed, agreed! Oh, 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 and you, my little brownie, will hereafter be called Snoopy. That will be your job, to check up on the dolls and record their complaints. Yes, sir, Santa, yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> and now, very Snow Queen. Now, Toys, please go back to the position you were in when I first planted your life. What's that? Listen, someone's crying. It's the musical doll. Oh, look, Santa, look. I've never seen a doll cry before. A musical doll? Why are you crying? Oh, oh, dear. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of this. With whom are you in love, musical doll? With the toy soldier. Oh. Imagine in love. How does it feel? Does it hurt? Is it nice? Go away, all of you. I'm in love with the musical doll, too. Very Snow Queen, what shall we do? Well, the toys cannot be changed unless the musical doll and the toy soldier agree to be happy. Oh dear, I'll be late this Christmas, sure. We agree to be changed, Santa. We wouldn't want to make all of those children unhappy. It's all we do. One last Last hug, last hug, last One last kiss, Santa. Last kiss, last kiss, last kiss. Oh. You see, toys, it's not easy being alive. Yes, we need that. Aren't you both ready now? One last thing, Santa. Oh, hurry, toy soldier. Let me give you my gold medal as a token of our love. And hereafter, all musical dolls will wear gold pins in remembrance of the two toys who fell in love. How nice. How sweet. What? Fun. And now, very Snow Queen. I believe we're ready. Now, may all the toys be as Anna made you. With the ability to come to life for one hour every night at 12 o'clock. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Perry Snow Queen. You're welcome, Santa. Now, what shall I find to do? Good night, Santa. It was fun. Oh, well. Oh, dear. Oh, hum. Snoopy, there's no time to lose. Let's put the toys in the sack. This is Christmas Eve. <laughs> yes, sir, Santa, yes, sir. And a good night to you, and a Merry Christmas, too. <laughs> <laughs>